everyone! This is Hachiri. Hello everyone! This is Hachiri, and we're in a brand new mod pack that we're going to be starting. FTB Stone Block 3. As you see, things are kind of messy around here. I don't know exactly what happened. Uh, it totally can't be my fault. Uh, but, uh, apparently things are slightly blown up, slightly on fire, and, uh, we're apparently supposed to go through a portal here and start our adventure. So this is a stone block mod pack by, uh, Feed the Beast, and, uh, you've probably already seen a couple of YouTubers doing this pack that were, uh, whitelisted to join during his development, but uh, we're starting it brand new, and uh, we're going to kind of take a look at it. So, the mod pack is entirely in an underground world, no surface. As you travel further from your spawn point, you will come across dungeons, caves, eventually a ring of nether and end. Every layer has their own dimension, spawning a zero zero, and has their own rings. You can teleport to another player using slash TPA command. Alright, and we uh, complete this. It gives us a quest book. And then this is telling us to create our team. We have already done this. We have our team. But uh, then you can do FTB Stone Block Home to teleport you to your home. Stone Block Lobby will teleport us here. And whether or not we want to turn off events. Alright, so we're going to get started. Jump in here and uh, see where we want to go. So we have the original. Okay. We have the cave. The dripping cave. Drippy cave. The lush house. The lush mineshaft intersection and the mineshaft intersection. I... I kind of can't really see the drippy cave. Um, so I can't tell, like, what it is. It's nice and dark. Or I could go with Lush Lush House. Lush House would give us plenty of vines. And other things to work with. Not really seeing a whole lot in the drippy cave. Uh, let's just go ahead and start with Lush House. So we will click Lush House and create our dimension. And apparently we are here. We got little flowers. We got some lights. Are these like berries? Oh yeah. Yeah, little blueberries. Alright. Not bad. Not bad at all. And uh, we have ourselves a little house here. Um, taking a look at the inside. Do these buttons do anything? Well, that one obviously does. Randomly clicking things. We have a lectern. Probably we'll use that later. Plenty of campfires. Alright. Got some simple storage. Cauldron. A amethyst bud. Candles. Pots and a bed, which is apparently nighttime. That's good to know. All right, so we set a respawn point, and uh, we have all of this stuff here. All right, all right. Let's see what else is around here. Not seeing a whole lot more. All right. Oh, so I guess what we should do is uh, look at the quest book and get started. So, I've not played this pack before. This is completely new to me. And we're going to go ahead and take a look. 
Now, alone in a cave with nothing but rocks. What a better use of your time than punch them. Mining stone with your fist results in dropping stone pebbles, which can be crafted into cobblestone. Can be eaten if for whatever reason you would want to. Alright, so I guess we're supposed to go out here and punch some stone. I don't know how I feel about eating stone. We could, uh... We could maybe... Make ourselves, uh... I didn't get any, any pebbles for that. I guess because it, I was ha holding the item? Yeah, that's what it was. Alright. But, uh... Yeah, we're gonna... Get ourselves some pebbles. Alright, random reward. Chainmail leggings. Alright, so next it wants us to make a crafting table with cobblestone. I need a little more pebbles for this. Just like that, we have our stone crafting table. And we got a skillet! The mod stone chest adds stone chest. Absolutely fascinating. All stone chests work identical to normal chests. So it wants us to make a stone chest. We also apparently need to make a stone rook. And a stone hammer. So the stone hammer crushes mine blocks, dropping their more granular block. You can see drops items in REI. Same thing here. Mining certain blocks with a crook will make them drop things like saplings and seeds. You can see the item drops in REI by checking its uses. So what are we looking at for this? Stone rods? Okay. I'm not seeing any form of tool in here other than this. And then stone hammers. There's stone rods and cobblestone. Alright. And then it has us getting all of this other good stuff. So this has absolutely no use. And hey, I'm wearing pants. Let's uh put our stone rafting table right here. How many sticks do we get? We get two per. Let's uh, punch a few more rocks and at least make a stone pickaxe if we can. Let's see. Can we make a pickaxe? Can we make a stone pickaxe? We can if we had actual sticks. Let's see about that crook. Alright. Random reward. An iron hammer. That is actually kind of useful. But let's see what... Uh, well, we got a break to get some saplings around here. Let's see, are you connected? Where are you connected? Top or bottom? Let's find out. Well, that is obviously... Are these all moss blocks? Moss carpet. Well, I've got us some seeds. What happens if I break stone with brick? Nothing. Let's see what all we can get with this. Clay gives us clay. 
So leaves gives us saplings. Sand gives us these. Grass block gives us these, okay. Soul sand gives us various types of mushrooms. Mycelium apparently gives us wild fruit and stuff, or vegetables and stuff for Farmer's Delight. And it looks like we just need actual dirt to do this. And to get dirt, we crush stone. All right, so we're gonna need to make the stone hammer. Well, now that we have our handy dandy mining hammer here. We could probably do something about that. All right, there we go. Stone hammer. Now, if I remember correctly, I can compress this. Place it down and smash the compressed. And then I can come over here, compress that, and do the same. And I think I'm going to try vein mining this. And there is our dirt. And if I do that, I get all sorts of saplings. Did I get any saplings I actually want. I did get an oakwood sapling. I'll start with that. Let's uh Let's uh let's see. Where where can we place it? Um Right here for now. It's Parking a thing, it is most definitely a thing. But apparently I cannot vein mine these. But I can those. Which gave me some vines. Some more oak saplings and some apples. So we're, we're doing pretty good here. We're doing pretty good. Now we might want to look into that stone chest at this point. So let's uh, pick up one of those. Right now, let's stick our chest right here and empty a lot of this in it. What do we get for this? A hopper, a vile sword, some compressed gravel, compressed dirt. We need to make sand next. Vein miner compressed dirt. This should give us sand. We'll vein mine the sand. And that'll give us the dust. That clears out the first few quests here. Alright, so we need a mine up to get andesite. I don't know if we really need andesite right now, but we'll, we'll look at that here in a little bit. Alright, so next is going to have us make the tinker station and the parts builder for tinker tools. Patterns, planks, is this vanilla? It looks like it's vanilla.
All right, so there's some patterns. There's some planks, and there's our parts builder. There is our tinker station. Log of a pattern gives us our crafting station. And we should be set. So you can get basic resources like iron using the millstone. More vast resources aren't available until later. Like everything in Create, the millstone is powered by rotational force. Likewise, you can hold W while hovering over any Create item to see the short explanation of how it works, including how it's powdered. Click to show ponder. Alright, so they want us to take a little gear, a crank, and this millstone in order to get some iron and such to move forward. And if I was looking at this... Looks like you can mill dripstone blocks if we had some to get a little bit of clay. Otherwise, we just get uh, the fan made once we get some iron. And some andesite, and we can go from there. So to take the millstone, we're going to need some polished andesite, some planks, and apparently another polished stone of some sort, and a cogwheel, which we can make with buttons and andesite. So we need to go mining. So let's go and do that. I'll place these right here for now. Uh, maybe we should look into making ourselves a pickaxe before we go. As a just in case. I see andesite. We finally got some. Just to give an idea of how far I had to go to get andesite. Like, we were digging up for a while. We were digging up for a long while. There is our millstone. And a hand crank. We have ourselves a little millstone set up. I guess we'll put it like right here for now. Actually, I remember this, All right? Let's lift it up one. And then we'll uh, have our cogwheel. Our crank. 
Alright, now I wonder if I can hop her into... Oh. Alright, so we have that there. I want to see if we can uh, hop her into it. But let's uh, see what we can use this for. So, stone gets stone dust. Okay, we can get sand. These are all fine, but not quite what we're interested in. Dripstone and clay. Andesite and cobble. Alright, so we throw gravel in there and we can get zinc and some of these other materials. That we need. So we need gravel. We have some gravel. Let's uh, throw this in here. And then. I believe we just rotate this. Now out comes our stuff. We already got some uh, iron and such. Batteries. It keeps giving us batteries. Improved pipe upgrades good though. We'll deal with some of this here in a little bit. I do got to deal with. This is our food situation. We're going to see if I can, like, hop her out of this. Um, I think, though, based on what I saw, this actually won't work well. Oh, never mind. It's only pulling out what I wanted to. All right, we'll uh, grind the crank for a little bit and be back here shortly.
All right, so we cranked for a little bit, got a little bit of iron. We're gonna see if we can make ourselves a bucket here. We can. Good, good, good. I'm gonna also make ourselves some shears. Because I do want to remove some of the stuff in the house so we can build ourselves like a better workshop for this. But I don't want to outright destroy everything. Like, I want to keep these bushes and stuff. We'll move them. We'll uh, clear all of this out. Like, it's nice having flower pots and all of this stuff. But I'd rather have a processing shop. So, with that said, And I think what I'm going to do... Is I think... We're going to set up a water wheel over here. And then... Kind of have it crank on this. So what we're going to do is I'm going to dig out a thing over here. I'm going to set up a water wheel, get it spinning, and then we're going to um, have it power this so that we don't have to sit here and uh, wait all day. We're going to move it over here.
Oh, that's sticking there for a second. Grab this. I should probably unload some of this in here, just so that uh, I have room for stuff. Alright, so I should be able to just lock the gravel in and it'll pop out in here. And this is our first automated can create contraption. Getting us iron and zinc. Well, it wants us to pick up a cauldron for that quest, the water quest. There we go. Cauldron picked up. plow and lava bucket. You can make lava by using the fire plow on stone for some time. And that will end up giving us a cobble generator when we're done. Alright, alright. Alrighty then. Well, we at least got this started with resource generation. We're going to let this process for a little bit. And uh, I think what we'll do is we'll wrap up here. And in the next episode, we will continue with uh, getting some automated resource processing going. And uh, maybe flesh out this place a little bit. So with that, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye. Well, that's all for today. Please subscribe, like, and comment down below and tell me your thoughts. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.